Hello everyone, Ado here. And damn, it's been a long time. I'm Ray. <laughs> and we're back. A Nocturne tale. So it seems that after the great vote, Nocturne won. Oh yeah, there was a vote. Jeez, I completely forgot about that. So yeah, like uh, this was most popular, and we'll be finishing this up before we move on to, like to the other series. Uh, hopefully, I uh, like uh, have the time to actually be able to work on those other series, so that way I'll be able to have like longer strings of videos. Yeah. And possibly more break time in between, but still. Let's get on with this. Now, do you remember what I told you to do? I'm going to try. Let's see. There we go. Right. Should be the big exit room, but without using the exit. Right. I'm gonna go there, talk to the guards. Talk to them. I'm trying to. They're right here. What's going on? I'm losing power. I'm not risking my life just to protect this damn gate. And then they risk their life to protect this damn gate. Right. So, work your way upstairs. Do you happen to remember uh, where those locked treasure chests and stuff were? Uh, you have to remind me, what treasure chest? What, where, what building is this? Is the, are those upstairs? Yeah. It's hard to tell on the map without like an arrow or something. Mm. Th those are always helpful. I forgot how weirdly large this room is. <laughs> like, it looks so tiny in it. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Huh. Well, I'm in this side of the room. This is the Room of Judgment, where the judgering begins. No, uh, this is the room next to the one where the judgering begins. Hello, did you cause this bloody mess? The Pretas here got hungry and left. Okay, well that answers that. Hmm. that that's all those tiny purple guys with the gold mask, right? Uh, yeah, I believe so. so. So anyways, I believe if you uh, go straight and then... Was it make a left or... No, nah, wait, was this the judgment room? The effects of Repel have worn off. Oh, right, you had a repel on you. That's right. Uh, maybe I should redo Pisaka's helpful thing. Where, where are you? There, there you are. Whoops. There you are. Okay. Uh, lowers odds. There we go. Alrighty. Alright. Like, uh, was this floor... Was there a third floor? I don't know. I could use the elevator in front of me. Isn't there a way that you can um, change floors on the map? Was the... I'm, I'm still going to have to get used to this every time I come back. Uh oh wait, this knots. There we go. Basement one. Well, floor one, second floor, third floor. Okay, is this uh, the floor you want me on? Yeah, that's it. Uh, work. Uh, get to the third floor, which apparently you need to take an elevator. Forgot about the sixtieth floor. Well, actually, I could use those stairs right over there, according to this map. Oh, okay. Well, anyways, get to the third floor. Go back to the cells at which uh, you were held, and now they should be open, allowing you to get to the treasure that's inside. Hopefully it's not a mystical chest, but it's probably gonna be a mystical chest. So much for lowered odds. Here we are fighting, guys. Mm -hmm. Let's see, it's been so long, I don't remember who's weak against what. I'm gonna assume fire is not useful because they're red. Okay, so uh, these guys are strong by nature because Oni, so don't bother using physical too much. It means that they're weak to uh, utter stuff, like status on it, such as nerf. Then I'll try a stunt and No, wait, that's not nerf. Unless it is. Like, like this is my nerve, right? Mind to panic. Well, no, no, uh, mind is its own thing. Oh. Yeah, there's uh, the three types mind, nerve, and uh, some other stuff. I kind of forget at the moment. Will? Hmm. Charm? The types on this game simply confuse me already enough as it is. <laughs> I'm gonna attempt a tornado on these guys. Let's see how that works. Yeah. That's quite interesting, I think, just how. <laughs> I keep forgetting how strong that is. God, I know I have force boost, but goddamn. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, go on. Yeah. It's uh, kind of amusing to think just how simpler the, the Mega Ten games have gotten over time. Yeah. Or maybe I'm just thinking of the Persona series, because like, well, I never had a chance to play uh, Mega Ten 4. Maybe they brought back a lot of this stuff. Like, maybe Wind is now just Guru. No, wait. Garu? Uh, I went to the wrong... Shoot, what was Wind type called in here? It's called Zahn, and in there it's right. called Garu. I mean, right. yeah, Persona's called Garu. Yeah, right. So, how do you feel about that Persona 5 supposedly coming out April finally for America? April? Supposedly. That's, that's the last thing I saw about a date all of a sudden. I was passing by a, like, website. Oh, it wasn't April 1st, was it? No. <laughs> 
April just happens to be coming up this year is the spring release of games. Wait, okay, this is the floor. So all the way back there, yep. at, at the at the big old four branched E, because that's how you spell E capitalized with four branches. You okay, dead guy? The mantra are done for. Okay, that's that's very that's very uh, optimistic and not at all saddening to hear. That's not a thing with anything in it. There's nothing. Oh wait, I didn't even see it. Yeah, remember. Ah uh, crap! Uh, what time? How, where, where, am I going up or down? Oh good, we're going up. Oh okay. It's <laughs> like oh no, not this again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, luckily you have the Pisaka dust. So Somewhat much for that. <laughs> mitigate it, but at least you know one thing for sure. Yes. Is that you do fight is worth fighting. That's true. I can get experience good guys that just get past the rappel. Yeah, your tornadoes can just annihilate them. If they stop attacking me, I do that, but they got like four criticals on one attack. Thankfully, somebody's fighting for us. Alrighty, now that I've finally gotten a turn before the fight could even start, Jesus. Hey, how did I miss that dude? Let's see, can't you heal? Yes, you can. Probably not as good, though. Yeah, it's okay. I feel like Uzumi could do better. I'm not sure about that. I just feel like she could. Okay, you can only do. Eh, screw it, I'll heal again. Unicorn can hit a ball with ice. Well, as far as, like, Persona 5, like, I'm greatly looking forward to it. I mean, I'm uh, looking forward to seeing, like, you know, how much more overpowered I can make the 8 uh, OC using the power of Persona. Excuse me. Ooh, excuse me. Yeah. Uh, because, like, you know, I uh, automatically go with OC Persona, which means I'm not restricted by any kind of dark hour or TV made action. Like, I wish they were like a little bit clearer when it came to Persona 4, because like in Persona 1, all you gotta do is just like play a little game, and if you can like uh, tell like Filemon your name, then boom, you get a Persona to just summon whenever you want, however you want, no restrictions. And then, I'm not quite sure how number 2 worked, I think it worked the exact same way, mm, iffy on that. And then we have number three, to where, like, oh, you just have to have been born with a certain potential. But even then, like, you have, it has to be, like, the dark hour. And even then, unless you're on, like, medication, it would probably kill you. You have to use a special device known as, like, an evoker. Well, the thing with Strega was that they weren't awoken naturally at all. That's uh, what the evokers are for. It was like, well, if you awaken to it naturally, you can just call it out, but you need this because they're not as cool as Persona 4. Where they just use an imaginary card with oh, their no, minds. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay, okay, now when it comes to... Oh, now what's Shinjiro's excuse? Uh, he had an evoker, didn't he? No, he was on that stuff. Well, that's because he hated himself for accidentally killing somebody, and he was therefore trying to kill himself. Because that was the side effect, was that they kind of slowly kill you if ah. you keep taking them. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. <laughs> Like, I kind of forgot at first, too, until replaying Persona 3 Portable, which, by the way, that scratched that Persona itch I had that I didn't know I had. I'm still... Oh, yeah, Strength Incense. All right. Now I can oh. punch better. Great. Or should I give that to somebody else? Nah, I should give it to me. I'm, I'm going to be here the whole time. <laughs> Let's see. Use... Where is it? There it is. There How we go. How much strength do you have? I probably have not enough for that door that we ran into that one time that I just remembered. 21. With uh. bonus on top. Yeah, that's with bonus. You need to be able to reach, like, a uh, certain amount without bonus. Let's see, I have, like, five in bonus, so that puts me at about... I'm not good at math backwards, dang it. Sixteen? <laughs> yeah, it sounds right. And I need to be at, what, 30? Natural? I think so, yeah. Jesus, I'm gonna have to grind somewhere. <laughs> uh, it's it's fine. You know, I got that Magatama in my game. I'm, only, I'm not too far compared to you, and... Uh, like, it's one of the uh, in-game Magatamas, because I can't learn a thing uh, from it yet. And when I looked over my notes, I need to be, like, around in the 80s, I think. That's it? Just the one box? Yep. Okay, so where to next? And just work your way all the way to the very top floor. Oh, so elevator time. Yep. Wait, am I on the right? Yeah, I am. It looked like the air was backwards. Mm. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, so, like, Persona 4, I thought was a little bit cooler in that, like, oh, they don't need to use evokers. They're, like, you know, original generation Persona users. But the game felt very ambiguous, and Arena didn't make things any better, which I'm not sure how canon that is to the series. I'm kind of hoping not very, <laughs> despite how much I love Labrys. Well, like, as... if you recall, like, uh, 
in Persona 4, it was all like, okay, you go into the TV world, and then you can just summon, like, a, your Persona. The one thing that always got me was that why did no one ever summon their Persona outside the TV world? And, like, I figured, well, it's not like you're ever fighting anything outside the TV world. What reason could you have to summon your Persona? Yeah. You know, to have awesome stand battles, that's why. You know, maybe use your Persona magic to do stuff. But then, like, um... Like, the one thing that kind of stuck out to me when I thought about it was how, like, no one ever seemed to really try their uh, TV world granted abilities outside the TV world. Mm -hmm. Like, remember when the fog just, like, rode in the town? Yeah. And then just... Kanji was, like, the first one to just put on his glasses for God knows whatever wise. And it says, hey, I, I it's just like the TV world. I could have swore it was Naoto because she just had an idea and then she threw on the glasses. And it's like, <gasps> it's like, what? It's like, put on your glasses. like, yeah. It's like, it's gone. Oh. Yeah. Okay, in my memory, I totally just remember it being Kanji. I was about to say, like, what? You sense a strong power from beyond the door, will you enter? No! Oh, jeez, no. Oh, that's a surprise. Boss battle time already? Wow, nah, it's, it's cool to walk through. I'm surprised that it said a strong power. Because you gotta remember, this place got wrecked. That's true. Oh, well, that's right, the only way to reveal any MP is through this thingy. Mm. Like, there's, like, no small amount. Well, let's just top myself yeah. off real and quick. And luckily, like, uh, you have enough power to buy as much as you need. Open! Well, as far as yeah. canonicity oh, for... Oh, hang on, okay. I'm not done yet. Okay. That, the reason I paused is because of this. Okay. You doing okay there, person? You doing okay out there, big guy? You have returned, mighty demon. Have you not seen it with your own eyes? No. I, what? <laughs> The stronghold of Nihilo. Oh, oh, that's what you. Oh, okay. Yeah, not really impressive. It seemed like an ambush too, which explains why there's nobody there from the guys that you said were the enemy. The stronghold was laid to waste by my army. Then why? Uh, behold, Magutsu. He escapes from my body against my will. I, I'm pulling it back in, but it just doesn't obey. Oh, this sucks. Oh man, mommy. <laughs> I don't remember, I didn't remember what the statue even looked like from afar because it was kind of blurry just because it's a PS2 game and all that weird stuff. Mm. So I didn't know it was half red statue. I thought that was just what he was on a bigger pedestal. <laughs> ah. And I am not the only one. All the members of Mantra are being drained of their Magatsuhi. Meanwhile, this person's just going crazy. I barely even noticed them. Curse you, Dihilo. What sort of devious trick did they use? A giant laser, as far as I know. No, oh, the humiliation! I can see the maiden where the Magatsuhi is drawn to. But alas, we are utterly powerless. We have no choice but to wait for our doom. Woe to our leader, Gozo Tenu. T Tenu. Oh, well, I mispronounced it horribly. Go Gozu Tenu. <laughs> you know, seeing her spaz out like that just makes me think. Hmm. The Mega Ten series would be a pretty awesome way to have cameo monsters from other series. Like what? Like the nurse from Silent Hill. Oh. Like, wouldn't you like to have that as a monster amongst your team? Yeah, maybe. If they got the licensing, it was okay. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, cameo monsters. No, I will not die! Blech. Well, that was anticlimactic. <laughs> <laughs> my body may perish, but my spirit will live on! Will it become one of those stupid little diggy spirits that I don't like that are like level one and terrible? <laughs> you know, like one of those. In time, the only one worthy of my power will come. It is then that I shall return. I will not let them create a world of stillness. What good is a world without strength? I will not forget this rage, this fire that burns my flesh and soul. My kingdom shall rise again! Go! Uh oh. <laughs> oh jeez, he's just crumbling apart now, isn't he? He's coming apart at the seams! Oh no, you probably should have moved, but now they're disintegrated from being flattened, apparently. I guess that's how it works. I mean, that's how it worked against uh, Clayton in, in from Tarzan when you play Kingdom Hearts 1, and then you win his boss battle. That Heartless falls on top of him and then his body just disappears for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> that was a weird section in the first game. The door is closed tight. Shit! I wanted to go in there and see the giant dead body. <laughs> also, was that a completely optional thing to see, basically, or what? No. Oh. I have no idea who this is. I knew you would be here. 
Oh, it's Thor. Uh, I don't remember the voice that gave him other than trying to do Nathan Explosion. I know you be here. Goes in zero S. No, the Mantra is merely destroyed by Nihilo's attack. The Assembly of Nihilo had to hire gold and just ruling over Tokyo. They had to rule over Kyoto, which, if you think about it, is an anagram of Tokyo. I mean, the letters are just kind of switched around. <laughs> I mean, what the hell, man? What the hell were they thinking? It doesn't make any sense, only to English, though. That's where the word anagram exists. But either way, we, on the other hand, did nothing more than enforce a reign of terror. That is the reason we lost. Oh, he's actually smart about that stuff. He's like, you can't roll just uh, strength alone. Let me fix that real quick, since I knocked it over. <laughs> and all those that we call comrades have deserted us. Maybe because we're big jerk asses and whatnot, I don't fucking know. Uh, no. You had a friend who was being held prisoner here, did you not? Both of you are free to do whatever you want. I mean, I really just don't care anymore. Whatever. I have no business here anymore. There is no point in guarding an abandoned city. Farewell. I will go on a quest to realize my dream of, of a world where the strong thrive. If you are truly strong, then you squeeze on meat again. And then he turned around and just evaporated. Oh, he actually kind of did, technically. <laughs> the effect of her... Ah, shit. I better run even faster than... <laughs> <laughs> Thus increasing the rate at which the enemies will show up. <laughs> That's funny that that actually apparently is a thing in Pokemon, that running does increase the encounter rate. <laughs> I was like, I wonder if that's still true to this day. But, like, in the, for, like, earlier games, it's totally true, apparently. Hmm. Like, not 100% on that. I'm not sure how much I can trust the source where I heard it, but I believe it's for now. Should I jump off? Is, that, is there a point to? Uh, yes. You're gonna want to jump off and uh, heal yourself. Uh, a little bit. Enough to where, like, you know, the next random encounter won't just one-shot you. Well, that's if I don't run into ogres that all do critical uh, berserk attacks. Oh, I got awesome. My lights show how death I am. <laughs> so, like, uh, media. Or... Oh, oh, okay. I got money to waste for beads. I got. I can waste the healing later. Can you buy more beads? Well, I, I had 24, and I only use four. I saved them for dire situations like that. And besides, I had the full party bead healing, too. You could use media. Eh. Media with rehealable TP. I mean, I would think save beads for boss battles. I'm expecting beads to be viable later if I can buy a chakra drop for beads. They're sake. not. Oh. Like, and I know I said I'm not that far from you, but we still got. Oh, uh, go to the safe point and save. Oh, okay. Oh, wait a second. Uh, actually, yeah. Uh, go to the safe point up there. I uh, thought you wanted me to go inside the tower like first thing, because otherwise I could have just walked to the uh, other safe point and heal. Point? You know, the one that's out in the Ikebukuro. If I went downstairs and to the right and through two halts. Hey, but so, no, I just want you to save because when you exit that area, like, uh, you're going to come upon a boss battle. Oh, is that why I couldn't have not seen that scene? I have to see it to get those guards to leave? Yeah. Okay, I didn't expect that. I, if I were playing this myself, I'd have to refer to a guide of, like, what do I do? Because I wouldn't think to go back there. I wouldn't care about them. Yeah. Because they were jerks. So, one of these three. Uh, let's see. Uh, use the third one. Are you sure? Is that your final answer? Yes. I am Regal Sfilbin. I've wants to be a gajillionaire. I'm not sure if that's a good impression. I'm trying. <laughs> and then, um... I kind of wish I could skip that, but whatever. It's short. Okay. So then, um, here's what I can tell you about the boss, and then you can uh, prepare appropriately. You're going to want to bring stuff that either nulls force or fire, preferably hmm. b mixes of both. Well, I don't null, but I don't think I'm that weak anymore to where it'll be a problem. I forgot that it does this in a weird order for some reason. Right, it uh, presents them in the order that they're in your stock, not that they're in your party. That's kind of weird, but it makes sense. Mm -hmm. So yeah, this enemy's going to be using fire and force against you. And also, like, um, they void buffs. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. So, as in, if I bother to buff myself, they'll just get rid of it rather quickly. Right. But I should but still debuff you... them like crazy, because they won't bother. Right, because like uh, they won't void debuffs. At least uh, I would hope I would note that down, like if they did. Okay, so then while you go over your stuff and try to make a careful strategy, I will distract you with talk of Persona 4. I'm going to ignore you then. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
right? So, yeah, it's just like, uh, it weirded me out how no one tried to use their persona powers outside of the TV world, and like, it seemed like they made no effort to try and just presumed that it only worked in the TV world. At least I can only uh, assume that, maybe because of like, you know, the whole scene with the fog and stuff like that. Uh, with, I was like, you know, I still think it was like Kanji in my head who was like, hey guys, try on your glasses and stuff. But, uh,. Like, if they had, like, you know, have shown any one kind of scene to where, like, they actually did try to use their stuff outside the TV world, then I would think that, like, uh, uh -huh. okay, then, yeah, you, uh, for some reason, their personas are kind of like the Dark Hour, and that, like, uh, instead of being limited to the Dark Hour, it's just limited to the TV world. Forget this gatekeeping shit. My partner's already left. I let, I let that human kid go to Kabukicho prison. I just don't care anymore. Huh. So as soon as I walk out the door, it's boss fight? Nah. Uh, you actually got like a little bit of leeway before like actual boss fight. Okay. I was getting ready to tra traipse around until a dark might was active. Okay. The flames of the candelabra of Sarvati are flickering wildly. So then, you see that highway? Yes. Okay, like, uh, you're good up until the highway, uh, goes north and south. Like, if you start going south of that highway, that's when you encounter the enemy. So I'm not I... quite sure how far south, though, but, like, you're good if, like, you want to walk along the road to the side of it. Well, I am saved, but what do you got to say? Hey, you, you don't plan to take the highway, do you? You should quit while you can. Something terrible the scene around there lately. A ghost riding a motorcycle. I don't think he's even licensed. I don't see you're gonna license a dead body. I mean, I mean it's also a ghost. So it's not even real. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> not this way. No, 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 that's too far. Okay. I'm surprised the fight didn't trigger automatically. But uh, yeah, when you go down that road, that's uh, when you'll encounter them. Okay. The I thing did... is, I'm not too sure how far down that road. I didn't. Re wow, it happens really fast out here with the moonlight. Hmm. Feel presence of a terrifying demon. Will you stay here? Yes. Uh. It's on Dark Might right now. I could just say no. Oh, okay. It looks like you'd be able to get away. What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> but. But when I did it, it was like you can't get away. <laughs> what the heck? Well, uh, okay, just uh, go back up and go back down, and like, uh, let's hope you keep me, Mike. Oh. I don't, because it goes away really quickly. Okay. Highway oh, right. fights. Is... Birds! These Wait. things are weak to electricity. Oh, oh yeah, I fought these things before. I was to say, have I seen them? They're all over the top of the tower. Neat. Wait, they probably like null wind, because they're birds. Yeah. That makes sense. I thought they'd be weaker. Well, that's my bad. Oh, although this one died. easy. But yeah, then we have like Persona 4 Arena come on in, and then, um, like, uh, that's when they pretty clearly established that they couldn't summon their personas yeah. outside of the TV world. Like, I think actually Kanji was the one uh, who established that. When he was like, huh? What's going on? Why am I at school? And then, like, his persona just, like, appears, like, what the hell? Like, I can't do this outside of TV world or something like that. But yeah, you're probably just going to go back into the building and then like go back out. But anyways, you saw the point at which like the encounter happened. Yeah, close enough to where if I'm at the cross section that if I have the new moon as soon as it started, I can still have it a few steps later. Because mm -hmm. wow, it really changes fast out here. Mm. I wasn't expecting that. Yep. Uh, and then like, uh, you know, arena stuff went down yep. to where like, uh, have you heard any word about like how official arena is compared to like the series? As far as I know, more canon to the overall story thing than Labyrinth of Q was, or whatever they call it. Oh no, they, I, I know the, like the excuse for Labyrinth of Q. It's a what if before everything bad happened in both stories. <laughs> no, it's a, um... Well, I don't know when exactly it takes place. All I know is that when everything's said and done, everybody's memories got erased and then return to where they came from. Oh, uh, one of those stories. It's like, why did I play yeah. this? Yeah, like, so it happened. It's a thing. Uh, okay, everyone go home now. Oh, uh, let's never speak of this again. <laughs> so easily write off of since it won't even matter. 
Yeah, unless, uh, wait. No, no, I don't even think that we'll be seeing, like, the OCs that appear during that game, like, you know, coming back. So, yeah, we won't be seeing them in the future, and everyone else is just gonna act like it never happened. Huh. Sounds like a red motorcyclist. Hello. I feel it. I feel the power. Candelabrum is nearby. Hey, it's you, isn't it? Bit it stare! <laughs> Hand over the candelabra. Be a good one, I'll take you to a world without limits. Okay, whoa, jeez, you're gonna run me over. Oh, thank God an RPG battle started, otherwise I would've died. <laughs> All right, let's go. Think you can stop me? Hey. Hell spin. Oh, I got a critical, oh, wait, nothing happened. Okay, I expected bad or just to happen. Alrighty, so, uh, yeah, I'll just lower dodge aim on first turn. Let, let's get him, guys. Yeah, just punch him real quick. There you go. <laughs> I must say, ever since watching you play, when I continued my game, I made it a point to get, like, you know, dark might on as many people as I could. I made the mistake Mikami does not have dark might, but he does know fire or something. One of the two things, and nobody has weakness to it. Yeah. And I definitely don't have any weakness, but I need the level up thing anyway, so... But yeah, I mean, it's a fun strategy. I mean, like, uh, a lot of times you'll go into battles and bosses won't have any weaknesses that you can exploit and stuff like that. It'll just be basically, okay, so, uh, make yourself, yeah, like, uh, make yourself, uh, but resistant to their stuff and it's like a battle of endurance. Don't expect to get, like, the upper hand on them. Except you have, like, you know, yeah. dark mind. You're just like, just like, you know, critical, critical, critical. Uh, criticals for days. Nice attack, jeez. That wasn't even a critical on this so much. I don't know what to do from here. I guess lower defense again. I can do it four times, right? I don't know how low he is. Is there a way to like check there or do you need to scan him? Uh there's no way to check that even if you need to scan him. Oh, okay. I just have to just go for it and hope for the best. Hell exhaust! Oh, I didn't realize he was so weak on damage. Holy crap. Let me just use an item on him real quick. Lifestone. Oh, there we go. That'll be good. I remember those not even good. Well, good enough that he won't die from 40 damage. <laughs> In the meantime, you can use Medea on everybody since so you have to get some damage. He heals better than my stupid item did. Not that I have a problem with that, I just think it's funny. <laughs> Man, yeah, I think we're good. Let's just give him a nice punch. It's a real man's punch, this kind of punch it is. Oh, I'm stupid. I forgot the skills of physical take HP. You're the first to keep up with me. But can you handle this? Takuda. Oh no, he canceled the effects I done, did he? Oh, Kaja effects have been canceled. Well, I might as well. Oh, that's right. Well, I might as well do a Rakunda because I can do that. Wait, Fog Breath isn't a Kunda, which means it didn't work. No, I know what it means. <laughs> I'm better off using an item to refill my, uh, yeah, MP real quick. And then healing. Makami. After I do an attack and miss. Oh good, I hit him. <laughs> and I'll take another risk with Pyro Check right quick. Goody. Now I can do this again. Actually, I should probably lower his chance of dodging aim. That'll be a good idea. Because I'll have a chance to attack before anything else. Oh hey, his head's tilted down, meaning he's super weak. That's decent damage. <laughs> That's what I was expecting from Hellrider. <laughs> Whew, that was a close one. Oh no, he spun hell at us. This is just an awful battle for him. Like, he's just doing so awful. Let's just lower that dodge aim a little bit more and that will be just fine. There we go, now he's... Oh, come on, die already. I thought he'd be dead dead by now. I mean, that Sojo, I beat his ass really fast. I didn't expect to. Yeah, same here. <laughs> Punch! Oh, I'm doing much stronger damage than I was expecting to. I know I'm at like 22 or whatever. 21. I don't know, I thought 22. Fire breath, he just drained. Uh, let's see. This costs a lot more HP. I'll try stunning a little bit. Eh. Not, not the same damage as my regular attack, so maybe I shouldn't do that anymore. <laughs> Oops! 
It's funny to just see all the turns just gone because he misses one per- <laughs> I wasn't expecting it to be a counter. Ah, dang. Not enough for me. At least Nuzumi level up. Of course, she's already close enough, but hey! Oh, Pisaka did too, I guess. Magic by one. Hey, now he can stun people with his just looks. I mean, I'm surprised he can't do that already. I mean, good. <laughs> hmm. User gains EXP, locates treasure, lots of dark areas. I mean, I don't plan using him in battle ever, so this is kind of a pointless skill. <laughs> Yeah, and like I would just uh, get rid of stun guys because like everything else. Is, That's a like, true point. Why would I even get that if I'm not gonna use him in battle? I need him with another passive skill. <laughs> I didn't change the skill. Ah, um, no, everything's too good here. I can't, I can't bring myself to let her change something. What's up? We what want to say. I have enough. Oh, I have enough of these. You can get rid of it for me. A float ball. Eh, I got Rusaka. You obtained the candelabra of dignity. Oh, I, I thought I had that already. I guess I guess I had no dignity before. <laughs> I wonder if that's why I'm walking around shirtless. Hey! Oh! <laughs> so anyways, yeah, go and save your game so that you won't have to fight for your dignity again. No, save my dignity! No, 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 I fucking need that shit! <laughs> Give it back! Why is that such a fun voice to do? <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. This fucking Ghost Rider wannabe just rides the fuck up and he gets his ass fucking kicked out his way he fucking did. Goddamn asshole. He fucking thinks he's killed me. He fucking gets out the goddamn Dibby Fiend. That means I'm half of one. <laughs> Which makes me better than him, I guess. I don't fucking know. Jesus fucking crap. <laughs> Hold on, so I'm like kill a little bit of HP and then save. Am I even hurt that bad? Yes. Yes, I am. Alright, so, like, uh... Huh. Actually, since we're about to hit a break, uh, it wouldn't be a bad time to go full heal everyone, register your demons, and restock up on items. So what you're saying is, just go ahead and link back? Uh, save first. Yeah. And then, like, we'll link back, and we'll catch everyone in the next episode. Yeah, because if we don't save now, God knows that the system will explode. At least the memory card will be okay. Bye, everybody.